My name is Vanessa Ock, and it is truly my honor to be sharing this space with you. I will be your master of ceremonies for today. I'm a journalist at Telemundo Network, um, but I'm truly an environmentalist at heart. I'm also the co-founder of Sasha Mama, a nonprofit organization that works to build leadership in the Latino community to create a 100% energy future. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to this beautiful place, the San Francisco City Hall, for the Cities for Climate, the Future is Us, an excited event designed to showcase innovative ways that our cities are cleaning the air that we breathe and building healthier and more resilient communities for all. This event is also an incredible preview of what is to come in the next few days at the Global Climate Action Summit where representatives of cities, states, regions, businesses, and civil society will demonstrate ambitious commitments to robust climate action. And we'll showcase how, by working together, we can create a more sustainable and prosperous future for all. On behalf of C40 cities and the Global Covenant of Mayors for Climate and Energy, I would like to say thank you to our event partners, the City of San Francisco, for providing this amazing, beautiful venue for Cities for Climate, the Future is Us. And particular thanks will go to the San Francisco Department of Environment for their support and great ideas throughout the planning of this event. It is probably no surprise for anyone here that a major climate summit is taking place here in the city of San Francisco, a city that has been leading the way at the vanguard of the environmental movement for decades. And it is also no surprise that mayors are here in force as long-time global leaders on taking the action needed to secure a climate-safe future for all. Today, you will hear from mayors, business leaders, philanthropists, climate experts, journalists, all from around the world. Everyone is here to discuss how we can make a healthier, more economically prosperous, and more equitable urban future I'd like to extend special thanks to Autodesk for your general support towards this event. And thank you to the main media partners of this event, the San Francisco Chronicle, the Asahi Shimbun, Reuters, and Guardian Cities. We are very, very excited to have you on board with us. Finally, I would like to say a big hello to all the people around the world that are watching us on Facebook Live today. Thank you for joining us. We're actively promoting today's event on social media, so I urge you to share your inspiring quotes and favorite moments and pictures using the hashtag Cities for Climate on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. And now let's begin today's program. I'm honored to introduce the first speaker of the day, our host. She is the 45th mayor of the city and county of San Francisco, London Breed. She is the first African-American woman and only the second woman to serve as mayor of San Francisco. Mayor Breed has dedicated her entire life to serving our communities and improving the city's housing, environment, public safety, transportation, and quality of life for all. As president of the city's board of supervisors, she passed the strongest styrofoam ban in the country. She spearheaded San Francisco's clean electric and energy program Clean Power San Francisco, and she has consistently advocated for safe streets for all users, whether on the bus, on the bike, or on foot. Thank you once again for having us here, and please join me in welcoming Mayor London Green to the stage. Thank you, everyone, and welcome to San Francisco City Hall. Thank you, Vanessa, for that kind introduction. I'm honored to be here with so many people from around the world, so many mayors from so many different countries. This is going to be an amazing week in San Francisco. You know, many of us are here because we unfortunately know about a lack of leadership around climate change in Washington, D.C. 
That is why this week we are joining an unprecedented gathering of leaders from cities around the world to send the message that climate change is too important for us not to act. We are already seeing the impacts of global warming here in California and all over our planet. It poses significant threats to our most vulnerable communities and the critical infrastructure in so many of our cities. The decisions we make today, the partnerships we form, and the commitments we advance are critical to ensuring we leave our communities, our planet, a better place for the next generation. That, yes, you can clap for that, because that's what this is all about. That's why it's so important for us to be here. And I am proud that San Francisco has been consistent on the, consistently on the forefront of advancing policies to help our environment combat climate change. We were the first city to offer curbside composting and ban single-use plastic bags. When I was on the Board of Supervisors, I helped push forward our Clean Power SF program, which has enrolled over 100,000 customers since 2016 and has resulted in greenhouse gas reductions equivalent to taking 17,000 cars off the road. Pretty amazing. Just a few years ago, I pushed legislation to enact the strictest styrofoam ban in the country and drug take-back policies, which have prevented over 40 tons of pharmaceuticals from going into our bay and landfill. Since 1990, we have reduced our greenhouse gas emissions by 30% and cut our landfill disposal in half all while growing the economy of San Francisco by 111%. We have shown that you can be a sustainable city while maintaining a thriving economy. This week, San Francisco stands strong with the cities represented here today and so many from around the world to build upon the commitments made at the UN Climate Change Conference in Paris that was held in 2015. We are adopting new policies to meet our goals of being carbon neutral by 2050. And by the year 2030, we as a city have committed to four important goals. Cutting our landfill waste in half, decarbonizing all new buildings, achieving 100% renewable energy, and we are well on our way and continuing to issue more municipal green bonds for construction. As mayors, we are leading the effort to make our cities more sustainable. We can achieve this by working across our borders in global communities. Together, we have the ability to create cleaner and a more greener and sustainable future for generations to come. I'd like to thank C40 Cities for bringing us here and providing critical resources for cities like San Francisco to support climate initiatives. And also thank you to the Global Covenant of Mayors for Climate and Energy for creating this international alliance so that we are all working together. We are thrilled to have you in our city and we hope that you take advantage of the many restaurants and amazing places that we have to offer. And don't forget, continue to spend your money in those places as well. Our economy depends on it. And at the